When we became Christians, we were invited to take part in the story of Jesus. It wasn't on the understanding that life was going to be easy, but that it can be one of great joy, incomprehensible peace, intimacy with our God, and rest for our souls. As we step into 2023, there is a wonderful opportunity for us as a church family to begin to reset our story. This is not to ignore how hard the last few years have been, far from it. It is in large part because of the last few years. And when I say reset, this is going to mean different things for different people. And I'm deeply conscious that for some, it may mean speaking about hard things for the first time. In his letter to the church family in Philippi, Paul suggests their suffering could turn out for the good of the church, as his own imprisonment in a Roman jail inspired confidence in other Christians to talk about Jesus more openly. Over these months, it's been a joy getting to know so many of you and hearing about your own stories. As a staff team on Mondays, we've been taking it in turns to share our own testimonies. On one week, we did something different, and those on the team who've been around for longer shared something of the story of Christchurch Forward, rather than a personal story of a member of staff. They shared about the influence of the Billy Graham mission in 1985, which led to many new people joining the church, of the blessing of the annual week in Keswick for the youth, the numerous church plants and grafts, and the recent refurbishment of the church, despite lockdown and COVID. We remembered the good times and why so many are so grateful for the faithful ministry and witness of Christ Church Forward. It was a reminder that as a church, our history was founded on a vibrant community, faithful to the way of Jesus and a deep faith in the life transforming power of the gospel. We do not seek to forget the hard things, no matter how tempting that may be, or sweep them under the carpet, but rather acknowledge them as part of our story, our forward story, and of God's work amongst us here. Our recent past may not have been easy, even deeply discouraging, but as we remember, like Nehemiah did, how God has worked in our history, it gives us confidence to pray that the gracious hand of the Lord will be with us again in our future. It's with all this in mind, that I'd love to invite us to take up the example and challenge of Nehemiah as we set the rest of January aside as a month of prayer. At the same time, with the help of the next section in the book of Nehemiah on Sunday mornings and Philippians in the evening, we hope to meditate more closely on what it looks like for us as individuals and as a church to follow Christ. So together we might be able to say with Paul, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. This is our chosen church family verse for 2023. For Paul, everything is about Jesus. He lives for Jesus, he'll die for Jesus. When he dies, he will gain more of Jesus. It's an exciting, if daunting way to live. We will need the Lord's help to work in us the same heart and attitude as Paul. Will you pray? Will you pray that with the help of his word, the Lord will give us a fresh glimpse of the wonder and glory of our Saviour? Will you ask God to teach us what it means to love one another well, to heal well, to welcome well, to be a vibrant gospel community? Will you pray that God would lead us forward in our brokenness, in gospel partnership, to build his church here and forward for the future?